Good morning, Toros. I'm Zaria. And I'm Casey. And today it's the Toro Magazine Show, a news program by the students, for the students, of the students. Looking to adopt a dog or volunteer? Here's a short video that may help. We're here at PetSmart on McAllis and Power where the Valley of the Sun Dog Rescue holds an adoption fair every Saturday and Sunday. They have a wide variety of dogs each week who are eligible for adoption. There are all ages and sizes and colors and temperaments suitable for any household. The Valley of the Sun Dog Rescue's uh, main goal is to, uh, is to rescue and rehabilitate and uh, make dogs available to the public. Uh, find good homes for them. Yeah, anybody can volunteer that is 14 years or older. We have a volunteer form that somebody would need to fill out before they could start volunteering here, but it's it's pretty easy. You can find it on our website at valleyofthesundogrescue.com. Working here is a lot of fun. It's certainly a lot of work too, but it's definitely worth it getting to see all the dogs get adopted and actually find new homes. So, I mean, it's great. When you volunteer, do a little bit of everything. Walk the dogs, you know, just spend time with them, talk to them, you know, just anything and everything that needs to be done related to the event here. Working here, it's fun. You get to meet new dogs, new people. You get to meet volunteers. You get to see more people volunteer every weekend. If you are interested in adopting one of our dogs, we'd have to have you fill out a pre-adoption application and so, and if you have other dogs, then we'd have you, we'd have to do a meet and greet to make sure they get well, they do well together. And so, and, and if everything goes well, then you can take the dog home that day. Well, that's all we have for you today, Toros. With the second Friday night event coming up, up next Friday in downtown Mesa, we went to check it out last month. Here's my story. We're down here at the second Friday night event where you can find everything from all the paintings and drawings you can want, different crafts like beadwork and jewelry. You can even find different costume stores and even live performances. My father up and said, I hate to tell you, Brian, what your mother never knew. But Jenny is a child of mine, so is kin to you. And I, and I. This event, you'll find a wide variety of different unique arts. You'll find prints, you'll find canvases, you'll find work like mine. A lot of people did pottery, some people did stuffed animals. Like, there's a huge variety of stuff that you can find out here. I do pearl or fuse bead work um, based off of a lot of popular video games and TV shows. Um, what it is is fuse beads that you put on a plastic board in the pattern that you want to do and you melt it all down. I've been attending the event since 2014 every month and it's just grown exponentially. When I first started attending this event, um, I only had one table instead of three. I would make maybe $80 a night and now I'm up to about $350 every event and the amount of people, the amount of vendors, the amount of effort that goes into the event. Now there are themes with contests, there are typically live bands playing. Uh, we're called Open Beta. Um, we are, uh, kind of our tagline is nerdy folky music. We actually, this is kind of our, like our one year anniversary doing this. We uh, started up last September. You'll probably see at least a thousand people through here um, in one Friday evening on the second Fridays. Because we get a lot, you get a lot of people from all over the valley come, they see to do the art walk, they come to see the acts. You know, in other words, it's a good time. There's also a movie I think they show here. The theme for the October show will be Nightmare Main Street. So come out with your best costumes. Here's a look at a store making the rounds with its retro content. Here at the house you used on the corner of Lindsay and University, I decided, what, what makes the vinyl so popular? Let's check it out. Well, our mission statement is to be the best store in each individual neighborhood um, and to provide, uh, you know, whatever they want as far as entertainment. Well, buying something digitally is uh, fairly generic, but whenever you buy something physically, it's more of an emotion, it's more of a feeling. When you put on an album, or at least when I do, um, when I put on an album, it's an event. It's not just listening to music. Um, you know, it's a mood, it's a feeling that you get. Um, in the world, there's people that uh, consume uh, their media in whatever form they can get it. There's other people that consume their media as collectors and people that make it uh, an emotional thing. I prefer physically owning a copy of it. I like organizing all of my games on the shelves and having it all look really nice and neat for when I have company over in my home. 
Um, I can definitely understand wanting to go digital and kind of avoiding the plastic usage and the disc usage and stuff like that. But personally, I feel like a lot of people like physically owning the copies and I know a lot of collectors come in here every day and I think that's really what sets us apart is they love it to just come in here and find an old game from 1980 and have a hard copy of it. Um, we're going back to the same thing is that this is more art. I don't think most artists want you to have their stuff digitally. They want you to have their stuff physically. Um, they, because they think it's a work of art. Um, they, they put more than just music into it, just lyrics into it, instruments, but they also put in artwork and stuff like that. And I think that's the way they want their stuff consumed, is they want it to be part of a, an experience for you. There may be an ongoing battle between vinyl and digital, but one thing's for sure. Places like the House of Used, movie rental stores, aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you for watching. Stay classy, Toros. With the recent explosion of the Falcon 9, SpaceX is back in the news. Here's a little background on SpaceX. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0. Most students may not know what SpaceX is, but lucky for you, we actually have a teacher on campus who actually knows a lot about it. Uh, SpaceX is a really cool company that's trying to turn space exploration into a privately funded initiative so they don't rely on politics or government to fund them. Uh, yes, we could totally live in space right now. Well, all we would have to do is build the structures, give them a little spin to emulate gravity, and we could have permanent stations up there. Uh, the real problem with the space station as it's currently constructed is that it's a zero-g environment. Uh, if the ship was big enough and we put a spin on it, we could live on the inside the ship, of course, but on the outside walls. And so with gravity, there's theoretically no reason why we couldn't live in space. There have been many theories on the Falcon 9 explosion, the combination of the non-combatable -combat fuel. And extreme theories of aliens, not from this world, tampering with the launch. You know, it's, it's a big political letdown because these missions are very costly. And so when it comes to the government funding them, it's gotta be popular enough that people will vote for it. That's why SpaceX is so exciting because if we can get the space, um, space exploration outside of the political process, we'll actually start to make some progress. If you're looking for a Halloween costume, this video will show you the hottest trends this season. I'm Zari and I'm standing here at Spirit Halloween, the largest seasonal Halloween retailer that has officially opened up for the season. We are known to be the largest specialty Halloween retailer in the United States at the moment. We carry a variety of costumes, we carry exclusive decor items, we of course carry a large selection of makeup, your fake blood and latex. Uh, we also carry a very large selection of lighting to help you really create that home haunt atmosphere. Top costumes for 2016, it's definitely the year of the anti-hero with the success of Deadpool and whether you love it or hate it, the Suicide Squad movies have really brought comic book anti-heroes to the forefront of costuming. Uh, we're expecting to see more of those honestly coming in the following years with the success of these films. We of course have your more traditional costumes, uh, Crayola is a line we have of literally for like teacher friendly or family friendly costumes. With this year's election being such a heated debate, we do of course carry Trump and Hillary items, costumes, masks, and the like. Uh, horror is always there, so we always have our trademark horror items or Grim Reapers, things like that. We do have more pulp culture with like the American Horror Story being so popular over the last few years. Uh, clowns and creepy clowns, of course, ever rising over the last decade or so. So for those of you that want to get into the Halloween spirit, head on down to your nearest spirit Halloween and check out all that they have to offer. Well, that's all we have for you today, Toros. I'm Zaria. And I'm Casey, and have a great October break.